G'day guys. Okay, so I had a question from Nick. Hi Darren, do you have any advice on how to effectively minimize tax for trading? Fabulous question, Nick. Um, I've, I have spoke about this in, in other videos, but I thought uh, this is a good question just to wrap it up into uh, all into one video, which I will do here. Firstly, let me just say my thoughts on tax. I know people who, who spend their lives trying to avoid paying tax. I don't agree with that. I am all for paying my fair share of tax. I don't want to be arguing or be fearful of the government and the tax department. I like to sleep well at night. I don't want that in the back of my mind that I'm doing something wrong. Um, so I'm always happy to pay my fair share of tax. Having said that, I don't want to pay more than I have to. So there are a few things you can do to make sure you're structured uh, correctly so that you pay your fair share and not a dime more. Okay, so I've got uh, three tips here um, for keeping your, your tax um, to your fair share only. The first one is be organized. Now this is a good way to pay the right amount of tax, but it's also just a good way to keep your mind clear of all that clutter. Um, that can come if you're not organized. Um, so I'm all for being organized in most things, uh, especially with your tax. What I've got is a little spreadsheet, a little um, uh, Excel spreadsheet that I do use. And um, if you do want a copy of it, just flick me an email and I'll send you a copy. I've actually got another video I did quite a few months ago with a tutorial on how to set one, set one up for yourself. Very basic, it doesn't need to be at all complicated. Uh, all you want is something that records all your trades and um, and gives you a profit and loss um, So you can you can see where you're at and at the end of the year the end of the financial year You can just um, give you either give it to your accountant or you can just tell your accountant This is how much I earned um, trading or lost trading uh, last year. You got the exact figure there uh, at your fingertips and It is so easy during the year just to keep good records so when you put the trade on you go to your Excel spreadsheet, it takes you maybe 15, 20 seconds to enter the trade in there. And then when you close the trade down the track, you go back in there and you, you enter the, the details and it's done. All your trades are kept in there and at the end of the financial year, you don't have to worry about you know, flicking through emails or flicking through bits of paper um, to, to find out what you've been doing during the year. Um, so just, a really important thing is to be organized and stay organized during the year. Don't try and worry about your tax, you know, the week before you need to go see your accountant. It's just stress that doesn't need to be there. Um, also, when you get your um, your trade confirmations uh, through the email, which, which I get, I just save every one of them. I go to put them into a file um, for that trading year and just, you know, I, I just call it, say you're buying BHP, I just call the, the, um, the confirmation buy BHP then put the date, so 2nd of the 2nd, 2018, whatever the date is, 02022018, and it's there. I mean, you've got your, your, your track record in your Excel spreadsheet, but if you do need to go back, say you do need to um, show the tax department what you've been doing, all your confirmations are there as well. Number one, just stay organized. Uh, number two is to structure your accounts correctly. Um, I have done another video, which I will put a link in the description about how I structure my, my accounts. I mean, there's certain entities that you can buy and sell shares in. Um, there's your, your personal entity, there can be a, a company, um, and also your, your superannuation, and, and others. So you've got to work out, probably with the help of, of an accountant, where you're at in life and what sort of entities uh, you need. If, if you're young, if you're in your early 20s, then you probably just trade in your own personal name. Uh, you probably don't have enough assets to, to warrant having a company. As you get older, into middle age, um, a company may be more worthwhile. Um, and also, as you get a bit more behind you, maybe having a self-managed superannuation fund as well. But there's, there's different um, rules and regulations for all of those, and, and you may um, trade differently under those different entities. And again, um, go, go back and watch the video. I'll put a link in the description just to, to see how I do it. But um, yeah, having different entities for different types of trading uh, is, is a way 
to um, make sure you're not paying more tax than you have to. Because if you're earning a lot in your own personal name and then you chuck on the chunk of earnings from your uh, from your trading as well, then you could be paying up to what 48 cents in the dollar if you go over, I think it's 180,000 a year. So then at that stage, well, then you might need a company to do your trading in. But of course, you need to talk to your accountant about that and uh, be realistic about where you're at. And no point setting up a company if you're not earning uh, enough money. Um, I don't know what the real threshold, I would say probably at least 150,000 if you're under that sort of income and the company's not really gonna be effective. But anyway, as I said, go talk to your accountant on that one and, and try and structure it properly. And number three, I'm gonna suggest that you actually know a little bit of accounting. Now, I'm not expecting you to go get a degree. Um, I sure as hell haven't got one. But just knowing the basics of accounting, um, things like the, the tax thresholds, so at what level will your tax rate go up? Knowing that is valuable information because then you can see, uh, well, maybe I do need, to, do need to have a company because I'm earning over this certain amount and I'm paying quite a lot of tax. Whereas if I leave it in the company, the company's only paying 30 cents in the dollar or less, um, I'd, I'd better, better leave it there. So, so knowing what the thresholds are uh, is important. Just a little bit of accounting. Yes, so capital gains, knowing a bit about capital gains and negative gearing, um, these sorts of things, and just understanding to your advantage uh, how the tax system works. Again, you don't need to, to be a full bottle, but just a little bit of knowledge will go a long way and will definitely definitely help you make some good decisions. Okay, so that's, that's it. Um, I really want to emphasize that um, paying tax, we live in a great country, it costs money to run this joint. So paying tax to me is a part of my duty as a citizen of Australia. And I don't spend a lot of time trying to, trying to avoid taxes or you know, trying to cheat the system. Like I say, I feel like it's my duty and I wanna sleep well at night. I don't wanna be stressing about the ATO um, you know, chasing after me and, and thinking about whether that money that I have in the bank is really mine. You know, to know that I've paid my tax on it and that what's there you know, no one has a claim on. It makes me feel feel you know, pretty safe and secure. So that's the way I like to do things. That's the way I suggest people do things. Um, so, you know, just pay your tax, but don't pay more than you have to. And just, uh, you know, stay organized and have a little bit of knowledge about the whole, uh, the whole thing. And really, <clears throat> the tax doesn't need to become an issue at all. It's just one of those things that, that you take care of but not really an issue. Focus on the more important things with, um, with your trading. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for today. I'll um, see you again soon. Um, just before I go, um, the little, uh, the Aussie Share Trader group, I think it might have about 80, 90 members now, and there's you know, a few people talking on it, but the more the merrier, obviously, in these groups, the more we get, the better it will work. So if you want to get onto Facebook, um, I've got a page as well, you can like that too if you want to. But um, yeah, the Aussie Share Trader group, go there and join, and I will um, accept your join request and uh, yeah, join in the conversation. Because like I say, just the more people we have in the group, the, uh, the better it will work. Okay, catch you guys.